Listen to me, Egundu. Today will be the last day you'll barge into my room the way you did moments ago. Having found you in such act with a married woman, you should hide your face in shame. Hide my face in shame? Did I kill anybody? What you did is worse than killing someone. Listen to me. That is by your interpretation. And you can take that useless interpretation of my space. My interpretation is generally accepted. Why are you so invested in my private life? Why are you doing this to yourself under the throne? Look, I decided to overlook this, your silly act of sleeping with girls, including my friends. But adding married women to the list is highly unacceptable. If you know what is good for you, Egundu, stay out of my business. No. I am a princess in this palace. You cannot shut me up. You are my brother. Whatever you do affects me. Any evil you commit in this society will affect your chances of becoming king. Why are you not getting it? Let me bother about that. The point is that you don't even know the gravity of the offense you are committing. Sleeping with another man's wife, it's a taboo. It's a grave offense. Desist from it. I am going to slap you silly. If you do not bridle your tongue and mind your boundaries. I will not mind my boundaries. As long as it creates sanity in this palace, I will not. You are a king in waiting. Behave like one. Okwage. Okwage. Keep meddling in my affairs. Continue. You must be clean and pure to ascend the throne. It's a sacred thing to be king. You must be ritually clean. If you look into yourself, then you will see it's not the word again. Someone rejected by the gods. Greetings, my princess. Keep your greetings to yourself. I am highly disappointed in you, if you are. I'm sorry for my actions. I'm here to talk some sense into your senseless head. Being sorry is not enough. What were you thinking? My prison is the devil's work. Leave the devil out of this. He has absolutely nothing to do with this. I don't know what came over me. What came over you is disrespect for sacredness of marriage, disrespect for womanhood, and disrespect for your husband. That is what came over you. My princess, it won't happen again. Of course it will not happen again. Because if this does start act, disrespectful, irritating, disgusting behavior repeats itself again, I will be forced to take drastic action against you. My princess, I give you my word. It won't happen again. I'm sorry. Ponder on this. If Uzamaka had walked into that room and met your pants down with her husband, what would you have said? Thank God she wasn't the one. Sorry. Uzamaka is your best friend. Of all the men in this kingdom, why her husband? My princess, I have no excuse for my misbehavior. Like I said before, I am so sorry. It's devil's work. It won't happen again. Please. I will warn you for the last time. If this repeats itself again, you will not like what I'll do to you. Get your trashy self out of my sight. You're so excited. What's the good news? Guess what? Mark proposed to you. Oh my goodness. How did you guess right? Engagement is smelling all over you. Oh, you just proposed. Really? Yes. You know, this is the best news I have heard all day. Mm -hmm. We are all celebrating it. Pick a location, I'll foot the bill. Okay, let me think. Mm. My princess, greetings. Greetings, Sister Grace. Uh, my princess, the queen demands to see you. Okay. Um, make yourself comfortable. 
I'll be back in a moment. All right. Serve her a drink. So what can I offer you? The juice will be fine. Okay, I'll be right back. Mother, you don't look happy. What's the problem? Is it true Odile is sleeping with married women too? Yes. You are aware of this? Yes, mother. My God. And you never told me. Mother, I have been talking to him about it. I was thinking it was something I could handle. What he is doing is very wrong. You shouldn't have kept it to yourself. I'm sorry, mother. Where is he now? He left the palace very early this morning, but he should be on his way back. What he is doing is capable of destroying the men he is sleeping with their wives and also deny him the throne. Exactly what I told him, mother. Once he comes back, tell him I want to see him. I have serious discussion with him. I will, mother. Ugoma! 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 My princess! Where's my friend? She's with the prince. What? How? I thought the prince went out. He came in 13 minutes ago. He was around before your friend came in. So why are you leaving so soon now? You know, I was actually having a discussion with your sister before you came in. Yeah. When next are we doing this again? I don't know. No, nah, the ball is in your court. I know, but you know, you just have to give me some time to plan my wedding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. You know I'm going to storm your wedding in full force. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, baby. So what gift would you want as your wedding gift? Oh, my. Mm. What will a baby girl love? Mm. Mm. A car gift. What make? Lexus 350s, okay. You have it. Thank you, baby. <laughs> oh, my. Mother, what are you going to do? The next time she badges in on me like that, I'm going to deal with her. I expect you to hide your face in shame, rather than making unnecessary noise here. How, how do you mean? I will pardon your sexual escapade with young girls, but extending it to married women is what I will never accept from you. Mm. I smell gango. Gang up? Did you just say gang up? Against who? I'm too big to gang up against you. Mother, no. there's no point trying to intimidate me. You very well know you are ganging up against me. 
Obilibe, stop sleeping with people's wife. You are soiling your hands and you are destroying your future. I'm only being of help to these women. Why are you people not seeing it from that angle? There is no decency in immorality. Stop sleeping with another man's wife. Oh. <laughs> How will you feel if another person sleeps with your wife? Well, I'm not going to have this conversation with you. Call is there. Sit down. We are not done. Stop sleeping with people's wife. Oh. I don't even see anything wrong in this. Everything is wrong and you have to stop it. Okay, can I go now? Any man who intentionally sleep, ah. sleeps with another man's wife will never achieve any greatness. It places a cog on the wheel of his progress. <laughs> you fail to understand there are certain men in this world who have gone beyond the point of ever going poor again. There are men who have touched money, who have demystified the ideology of money making. I am one of those men. And me being with numerous women to distribute this wealth is something you should commend. No this and no peace. Can you listen to yourself? There is no way an okra tree will grow that it will outgrow the owner. Odilibe! Odilibe, I am your mother. Stop sleeping with people's wife. Oh. If you dare it one more time, you will know that I am your mother. I gave birth to you and I watched every step of yours. I am not only your mother, the queen mother of this kingdom. Mark it. You are my mother. You are the queen. But you are still a woman. There are limited things you can do. And as for you, if you enter my room or even as much as open my door again without me knowing, I will slap you silly. Slap me if that will make you happy. But I'll always be here to remind you that your life does not belong to you alone. The fate of the entire Ekulo is resting on your shoulder. Stop telling me that rubbish! Why are they resting their fate on my shoulder? Did I ask anybody to rest their fate on Why would I even be the one carrying everybody's body in Bikono? I never bargained for this. Odile, stop playing these dangerous games. You're a prince. The only one that will ascend the throne. Let me make this point blank. No matter what you do, you cannot make me go against my wish. I cannot sacrifice my happiness at the altar of something I know little or nothing about. Tabubo, let it enter your head. Never. Mother, something is definitely wrong with your son. You need to quickly put a chain on his neck before it's too late. You are right. Something must be wrong with him. Shameless boy. Princess Segundo. My princess. My princess. <laughs> what is it? Princess, my princess, Mark just cancelled our marriage plans. Why? He found out that I was dating the prince. So, so what do you want me to do? You know what, come and sit down. Sit. What do you want me to do? I want you to please talk to Mark for me. You're the only person he listens to. Okay. Assuming I'm going to talk to him, what do I tell him? Tell him I'm a good person. I will never cheat on him. In fact, I have never cheated on him. But you were cheating on him. Yes, I know. I know I've been seeing the prince for some time now. But it was a mistake. A mistake. Look, the worst thing you're going to do right now is lie to me. Is it going to make matters worse? You call sleeping with a man a mistake? 
you removed your clothes, opened your legs for him and allowed him go in several times and you call it a mistake, look for something else and tell me, please. He just, he came and said, I must sleep with him for the last time before I get married. It that you must sleep with him before you get married. What does that mean? Please. There is no time for long stories now. Mark is coming here to find out if everything he heard about the prince and I is true. I want you to tell him that nothing about that was true. Please. You know I'm a princess, right? And as a princess, I don't tell lies. If I do, the truth will definitely come out and I'll look like a fool before his eyes. I don't want to look like a fool before him. This is exactly the problem. Sleeping with married women. How do we solve this problem? Oddly there, the prince was the first visitor I see to this morning. What did he say? Did he confess to the reason the gods rejected him? We didn't even go to that angle. He said he came to tell me that he does not want to be king. I didn't hear that. Oh no. <laughs> you mean he said he is not interested? Let me repeat his exact words. Oh no. I am not interested in becoming king. Tell the chief priest to choose another person to be king. I have so many business ideas running in my head and I don't want to lose it because I want to be king. I am so much interested in contesting in the world of business innovations and I do not want to miss that because I want to be king. End of quote. May the gods forbid. Mm. This is crazy. Is the queen aware of his decision? Same question I asked. And he said, he's only here to tell me so that I'll be the one to convey his message to the queen. Oh. This young man has sure lost it. You have not even had the worst. He even said we can go ahead and crown his younger sister since she's so interested in the royalty stuff. <laughs> but no, he didn't say that. <laughs> he didn't say How can he say such a thing? <laughs> <laughs> no. Be serious about this. Onka, I am telling you what he said. He said he wants to concentrate on the steel company so that he can make out something great out of it. Hey, what a prince. I'm sure his father will be rolling in his grave by now. Onka, it's so unfortunate how our prince became the complete opposite, I mean completely departure from this man. Oh, 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 let me ask you. Are you going to discuss this with the queen? I'm still not moved in my spirit. I will know what to do when I'm so moved. Huh. I really cannot say a thing like that. He said it, my queen. He was here yesterday and he spoke to me one-on-one. -on -one. This is the highest of all madness I have seen. You're right, my queen. You have a lot of work to do on him. Or royalty will leave your family to another family. That is not my wish for you anymore. Oh no. Thank you for this great information. You're always welcome. You see, initially, 
uh, he said I will not discuss this with you, but on a second thought, I decided to tell you. Odilibe will feel my wrath from this moment onwards. Don't be too hard on him, my queen. Don't use excess force, or things may blow out of proportions. Oh, no. Using excess force and district measure on him is the last resort. Oh, no, please. I want to ask you for something, for a favor, please. Well, feel free, just make your request. But promise me you'll stand with me when the heat is on. Oh, my queen, you always have my support. Thank you so much. That's all I want. It's okay. I have to be on my way. All right. Let me see you off. Ma, good afternoon. What are you doing here? And how did you get into my compound? Ma, please, can we talk? We have nothing to talk about. Mark, please. Listen to me, okay? Even if it's for the last time, hear me out. I beg you. Your presence disgusts me. So I have nothing to say to you. Mark, just let me let me make amends, please. Really? Just give me a chance. I'll make everything right. I come from the lineage where women's nakedness is considered sacred and can only be seen by the man who she is married to. My please. Let's not throw away everything we've built. Our love, happiness, affection. Don't you dare! <laughs> Didn't you know all this before running off to the prince? Babe, it was a mistake of my life. That's why I beg you should allow me make amends, please. Tell me, how do you intend doing that? Baby, please. Can we go inside and talk? We cannot go inside. I want you to leave this house this minute. Mark. Mark, I love you. That was then, not now. Leave my house. My please. Leave oh, my house. Oh my God. Get out of my house! Mark. My please. Get out! Mark. Out. Please. Mark. What's all this? You know it's very wrong to badge into someone in this manner. What if I was naked? Uh, what is big deal if you are naked? I carried you in my stomach for nine good months. I am no longer that boy you carried in your tummy for nine months. I'm a full grown man now. Of Respect course. me. You are. You are that little boy. I know you have come here for a discussion. Please go ahead with it. Why would you make such senseless and stupid requests? I don't understand. You were with Ono, yeah? Oh, yes, and whatever I told Ono was from the depth of my heart, and I want everybody to respect it. You must be stupid. Thinking you can ridicule me and the entire household. Brother, I'm not ridiculing anybody. I just want to live a simple life. Is that too difficult to ask? I want to focus on the steel company and make the best of it. That's all. Let me tell you. A call to kingship is not a complex life. Rather, it is a call to a higher service to humanity. I do not want to be king. A Gondu can go ahead and become king. I'll give her all the support, but I don't want to be. You must be stupid. You must be out of your mind for saying that. But I don't you think this discussion is dead on arrival? What do you mean? I have made my point and my position clear to the Onu. And I believe he must have given my message to the elders of Ekulo. I do not want to be king. Why don't you just respect this? 
I know by now they must be looking for someone to become their king and become the custodian of the Opo. And that custodian of the Opo is you. Now listen to me. You are the custodian of that Opo. You have to embrace it. Or I will frustrate the hell out of you. But I don't you think that is a threat? One thing you have to understand, mother, is that I am a man now. I'm no longer that boy you used to impose things on. Well, I give you just 45 minutes. 45 minutes to change your mind and present yourself for investigation. Or I will cripple you. Mother, you are sounding threatening. Yes, it is a threat that I will follow to the last. Mark it. <laughs> This woman doesn't know how powerful I have become. She thinks I'm still that boy she used to order around. Well then, we shall see. I am only taking things easy because you're my mother. Odilibe, don't spare me. Don't spare me on any account, Odilibe. Go ahead and fight me. Go to war with me. <laughs> 